Doctor, can we talk about the different ways of taking the HRT specific to breast cancers? Transdermal versus oral, what is your recommendation for patients or is it individualized? And it's really important to have a shared decision making. This isn't the 60s, you know, we shouldn't be paternalistic anymore. So if we've agreed to try HRT, then I think there is a huge misconception that transdermal is safer than oral with regards to um, cancer risk. So with regards to blood clot risk through the skin is safer than oral but actually for breast cancer there's no difference between through the skin or oral and again there's this misconception that it's body identical estradiol is safer but actually all the evidence we have is it's actually the conjugated estrogens. We've got so much data and data from the WHI trial and although that was you know, the WHI has kind of been the bane of women's health, but we've actually, it was reported badly, but we've got good data from it. Okay. So we can see that with the conjugated estrogen, which is the, the primer, pregnant horse urine, if you've got estrogen alone, you've either got no increased breast risk or probably 23% um, lower risk of breast cancer and about 40% lower risk of dying of breast cancer. So this is women that haven't had a breast cancer. Wow. And in the HABITS trial for women with breast cancer, it did show recurrence, but actually not the women that were given conjugated estrogen alone. So women who didn't have a womb could be given con estrogen alone, so the ones that had conjugated estrogen alone, they didn't show an increased risk of recurrence. I like to say to women, it's like a bag of sweeties, and they're all different sweeties, and it's the same in the conjugated estrogen, it's all different types of estrogen, and they all work in a different way, and some are breast protective, some are breast neutral, and some may be worse for the breast, whereas your body identical estradiol, which which we still use and I still do use, is just is just basically one type of, of estrogen, estradiol, E2. Um, in, in practice, I will tend to use estrogen through the skin because any woman who's had a cancer is going to be at slightly higher risk of blood clots simply because of having cancer. So I, I, I think, okay, why, why take that risk? So I mm -hmm. give them estrogen through the skin and there's no difference between patch gel or spray it's all just personal preference and then if you have a womb you need to have progesterone to protect the lining of the womb we much prefer to give a breast friendly progesterone so micronized progesterone i think it's called prometrium in canada it is neutral to the breast